of looking at dogs and stuff and how 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 what the bone of another dog. And sometimes just by standing close to the dog who has the bone, but not not really trying to you know, not really trying to take the bone away, but actually making the dog tired. So this is an strategy tell that I have learned from many dogs. No, don't come tell me, now, tell them. Into that dog, yeah. Of barking, and he can he can't do it anymore. He doesn't want the bone anymore. What he wants is to recover. So that's what I'm doing because as you see right now, he laid down so I don't have a good clear shot. He's giving all he has. You know, no, he won't play with you? Day, the more relaxed I become. So I'm actually getting more energetic than he is because he's the one who's wasting the energy. Did you hear that? Is that your favorite show? Now you're gonna come talk to me. Hi, Chase. What are you doing? What do you want? What? Run? What? Do you want a treat? Can you lay down? Good boy. This is what I want to teach the brain every single time. Can you sit up? This is what I want no. you to understand. Can you sit up? This is submission. Sit. This is what we want. Come on, let's go get a treat. Let's go. Come on, get up. Chase. Chase, come here. Shake a paw. Come on. Shake a paw. Want a treat? Get up. Shake a paw. Shake a paw. Shake a paw. Come on. Oh, you look first. Here. There's your treat. Sit. No, not lay down. Very nice. Next, Cricket's owners. Oh, you're just so cute. I'll go eat a treat. Come 